Well, he was the kind to pay no mind if he was bumped into. He was the kind that would let you find out all that he knew. He never got up tight. He never started a fight. He never threw so much as a dart. He was a man after my own heart. He loved people. People loved him. Little children loved him the best. Anytime anything was unfilled, you just you fill in the rest. Said you know that the laughing hole ain't there for the kids in the bed long. He was a man after my own heart. And I loved him, and you loved him too. Oh, you know that I loved him. Said he knew a place to go and he went there The only clues that he left for us he left everywhere When you say goodbye well some people cry but like a fool I would say I said on time He was a man after my own heart And I loved him and you loved him too Oh, you know that I loved him. Okay, buckaroos, here we go again. I'm about to slide one by you once more. It doesn't matter how you do it, man. You just do it like you know what you're doing. I feel like I've been down that road before. Just getting by on getting by. It's my stock and trade. I live it day to day. I pick up the pieces wherever they fall I Just letting it roll I letting them high times carry the low I live my life easy come easy go Last week I was thinking Oh it's record time again I could see my manager pacing his floor I'm Mac don't you worry Something's bound to come out But we've been down this road before Getting bound, getting by is my stock and trade Living it day to day Picking up pieces wherever they fall Just letting it roll Letting them high times carry the low I'll just live my life easy, come easy, go Income tax is overdue I think she is too I've been busted And I'll probably get busted more But I'll catch it all later I can't let it stop me now I've been down the road Once or twice before It's getting by Getting by is my stock and trade Living it day to day Picking up the pieces 
with a full soul. I just let me roll, let me my time get low. Time load, I just need to live my life. Hey, they come easy go. I've been living my life, easy come, easy go. Oh, Mr. Okay, Buckaroos. Well, <sighs> um, uh, well, uh, what a year we're having. So, uh, Jerry Jeff Walker. I, I think my I think my first favorite thing that he ever wrote uh, was his name, and um, I'll tell you that he was just a young guy, not 21, and uh, he was singing. Some his his name is Ronald. Clyde Crosby from New York City. My favorite thing about him was always that he made up his own name. And when I met him, I got to ask him how he did that. And um, it starts with this song. He wouldn't write this song for a few more years, but he was playing in a little bar outside of where he grew up, and a man named Harold Stonebeck came into the bar, and Harold Stonebeck was a, a bar room philosopher, and he saw that Jerry Jeff was singing in an empty bar, and that he was drinking in an empty bar, and that if that's all they were going to do with their lives, uh, that they could do that anywhere, and that why do it here? If, and it's genius if you think about it. Um, and then so they, they set out and they started hitchhiking south for warmth. This would be the 60s, you know. And um, on Jerry Jeff's first record uh, that would happen a few years later, uh, he does this song. First ran into Stony Bar downtown was Richmond, Virginia Just bumming around Suitcase to suitcase We started in talking Finding out about the things we shared The many miles we've been Had this old gray pillowcase Full of books by Durrell Carried this old concertina guitar It's all beat up, it played like hell Until you got him started Singing them gospel songs I sang all night for nothing it told you stories till dawn Say so get your bags, boy, the sun's up It's time to roll Hey, there ain't no better time than early in the morning To be out walking down the road Seeing a brand new day beginning While them fools, they just go rushing on by We'll be like some kind of Mr. Independent, son We'll take our own sweet time So we walked on out that highway Under a clear blue sky I was listening to the tales that he told Drinking warm red wine About the night he rode sevens 
about some girl who done him wrong About everything you think of While we walked along The old Stoney, he had a magic It made him hard to forget Like the night we rolled down that old Ohio highway In a pickup truck that nearly wrecked A crazy woman driving She was drunk and she was carrying on Till Stoney finally calmed her Singing them gospel songs la -da -da -da. We split the road in no wood He just shook my hand He said, I'll see you someplace, Gypsy But you know he never has We were that free then, though We'd just be walking down some road We didn't always used to care so much Where that road was gonna go A few years later we found out that old Stoney was a bullshitter And there was just no way around it But still there was just this way that he told you things It's made you never want to doubt it. He kept you going when the going got rough. He could get you through a lean time just by making it up. I first ran into Stoney. Bar downtown It was in Richmond, Virginia It was a man around Suitcase to suitcase He started in talking You know, Jerry Jeff used to have this story that he would tell during this song about how when you're a kid you don't tell the truth they call you a fibber and if you don't get that and you keep on eventually they will call you your parents they'll call you a liar they said if you don't get that message it will be your own friends and now they're gonna call you they're, they're gonna call you a bullshitter You don't get it after that. Eventually, they'll start calling you a folk singer. I first ran into Stoney, the bar downtown. And so, it would be that those two underage kids would hitchhike down through Florida to Key West. And um, uh, Jerry would start a big part of his life down there. And um, then they hitchhiked over to uh, New Orleans, where Jerry, uh, who was still named Ronald uh, Clyde Crosby at the time, um, he started following a singer named Babe Stovall around, helping him carrying his guitar. And then he got a gig at a place called Lucky Pierre's, where he, I don't believe he was old enough to play. And I think for some reason there was some trouble that he'd been in back home, so he couldn't play under his own name. And he found a fake ID from a guy named Jerry Ferris. And he started his career as a singer in New Orleans as the Happy Guitar. And um, I don't know if he sang his own songs as much yet, um, but then he went home to see his parents, 
and uh, got all whatever those issues were cleared up. But also, I believe there was some uh, fake ID, you know, to drink. You know, I don't know what the drinking age was at the time, but I knew that on that trip home to see his parents, he found a better fake ID, and on that fake ID, it said Jeff Walker. And so he went back to New Orleans to um, Lucky Pierre's to get his gig back, and he told Pierre that his name was Jeff Walker now. And the owner said, I can't do that. Everybody knows you as Jerry. And uh, if I'm going to hire you again, you have to be Jerry. And so he said, well, what if I'm Jerry Jeff Walker? And that's how it worked out. And then, um, and then Jerry started singing around New Orleans, and he started playing... He worked his way over to Texas, where he would eventually declare himself he'd say he was from. Um, once he decided he'd invented Jerry Jeff Walker, I think he felt pretty open to who that guy could be. And he'd traveled all over the country. His favorite place was the hill country of Texas, so why wouldn't the guy he invented be from there? And that's what he decided. But it didn't. that didn't happen right away. First, he went to Houston, and he joined a band called Circus Maximus. And they made their way up to New York to get a record deal. And all this time, Jerry Jeff is very like a Kevin Kinney type in that he's in a rock band, but he's just folk, he sings, he, he busks too. And um, so he's always making up these busking songs. And um, when he gets to New York, he falls in with that crowd. And there's a guy there named David Bromberg and David Bromberg and him became friends. And David Bromberg took him over to a place called WFUV, uh, where the DJ's name was Bob Fass. I don't know why I know. And um, it was like 2 in the morning, and they were just, this guy was known for letting troubadours just sing at 2 in the morning. And uh, Bromberg was like, man, let's go sing on this radio station. And so Jerry Jeff, who had like 10 or 11 songs at the time, went up there and you can you can hear this it's on a five years gone is the name of the record he goes into the station and <coughs> he's just a kid um and the dj bob fast asks him to play a song and he goes Mr. Bojangles, 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 Mr. Bojangles,
He uh, came up with uh, when he was in New Orleans, and um, he had been outside the Cafe du Monde, and, and he saw this pretty girl sitting there by herself having a cup of coffee, and uh, he got on the table next to her. He got on a chair. Jerry Jeff was a raging drinking machine, so uh, <laughs> even as a young man. So he gets up on this chair, and he says to the woman, do you believe in love at first sight? And she says, no. And he, he tries to get the entire Cafe Du Monde to uh, implore her to think about it or whatever. And that's how he ended up in jail in New Orleans, where he met Mr. Bojangles, who was an old white guy. Not a, People don't know that. Um, they were segregated. The cells were segregated. <laughs> and the Mr. Bojangles, that was what they called all the, guy, the, the dancing buskers. It, that was a nickname for a dancing busker. So anyway, he plays that song on the radio and uh, at 2 in the morning, and everybody likes it, you know. And so... Uh, and the lead singer of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, they start playing it again and again. And his band, the Circus Maximus, they had a record contract, but he got offered a, his own because of the song. He signed it, and then the old company that said his band, they had his band, they said he, they owned him too. So he made two records, and that's how his career started, with two records at the very beginning. Um, I'll tell you this. The very first song was, I'm a gypsy song man. Yes, sir, would you like to hear my song? I'll pick it for you now. I'll play it all night long. If the blues are all you see, uh, this song is what you need. I'm a gypsy song man, just passing by. My whole life is a song, and I'll sing it for you now. A picking and a singing, I'll get by somehow. Well, a dime would help me, please, but a smile is all I need. I'm a gypsy song man, I just passing by. Kids come running, man, I pass by. They all want to see. They say, hey, gypsy song man, won't you play a song for me? Tales are on the stage, cause I'm dancing on the stage. I'm a gypsy song man. Passing by I got a stage on every corner I got a hall on every street 
My hat is my corn box. This song is what you need. It is just a swap in time, a song for your dime. I'm a gypsy song man, and I'm just passing by. So as I leave you now, please remember me this time. I'm the man who sang the songs for your nickels and your dimes. Today you saw me play as I stopped along your way. I'm just a gypsy song man. I'm passing by. I'm a gypsy song man. Yes, sir. Would you like to hear my song? I'll pick it for you now. Hell, I'll play it all night long. If the blues are all you see, this song is what you need. I'm a gypsy song man. I'm just passing by. I'm a gypsy song man. I'm just passing by. Yeah, man. That. And then the very next song on that record was a song he made up um, when he was working for Babe Stovall. Babe Stovall was an old black guy, and his family had come to see his Thanksgiving show somewhere in New Orleans, and, um, and the club wouldn't let Babe's family in to see his gig. And Jerry Jeff said that really impacted him a lot. And, and Babe looked at the owner and he said, well, I make money. Money doesn't make me. And he, and then Jerry just says, and then Babe hoofed it on out of there and took the whole crowd with him. <laughs> and, and after that night, Jerry Jeff wrote this. Hell, I make money, money don't make me That's the way I am and it's plain to see Get it right for yourself Can't put you on the shelf Live and let live, you know it's plain enough There ain't a dollar in the world that made me change my stuff Well, I met lots of men that told me when They finally made the first million They're gonna live like kings Try everything, gonna flatter pretty women But if you know how to do it, well, don't you get too instead of waiting all your life. Whole life is only doing what you think is worth pursuing instead of waiting all the time. That's well, I made money, money don't make me. That's where I am, and it's plain to see. Get right for yourself. They can't put me on the shelf. I say, live and let live, you know it's plain enough. There ain't a dollar in the world to make me change my stuff. If you find yourself awaiting and you know you're hesitating, get your butt off the ground. It ain't your money or your honey, and you know it's kind of funny when it's all poured down. If you want to be the man, you know you certainly can. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. While clothes don't make a man, no money won't help you stand in truth. Then you do it, you do it, That's why I make money, money don't make me. That's the way I am, and it's plain to see. I get it right for yourself. I can't put you on the shelf. Live and let it live, you know it's plain enough There ain't a dollar in the world to make me change my stuff So you find yourself in it, sitting and pretending gonna do it sometime Big, you're knocking on wood, doing exactly what you should, trying to save enough time Well, you build them up high so you can retire till you can't in the blue Well, you finally saw behind it, finally slip your mind and you do poop to do to do well, I make money, money don't make me That's the way I am and it's plain to see Get right for yourself Can't put me on the shelf I Said live and let live, you know it's plain enough There ain't a dollar in the world that made me change my stuff And so that song, um, there's uh, Ramblin', Scramblin', a lot, of, a lot of songs on those first two records. And Jerry Jeff became a touring person. And uh, he started playing all over. He made um, a few He made like a few records before he moved to Texas. Uh, Keith Sykes, how, who I know, toured with him. And he said, even in those days, like, there was something about him when him and Hunter Thompson met each other. They they were they were bonded like like there was some perverse sense of humor. Um, like Jerry Jeff had like when he would tour. If you rent a car on tour, 
it's like a hundred bucks extra. I don't know what is it now these days for the for the insurance. Mm -hmm. To Jerry Jeff, that meant for a hundred bucks, it was okay to total that car, and he did it almost every time. I mean, there's stories about him. He wasn't just a singer. He was a way of life, and not just an, a, a negative way of life either. He um, just uh, looking for kicks. Keith Sykes said one time they were driving through a cornfield in Iowa, and it's just corn on every side for hours, and just out of the blue, Jerry Jeff goes, hey, check this out, and he veers off the road into this corn patch, and the corn's like ripe, and Keith said it was like baseball bats were attacking the car, totaled the car, broke all the windows out, and Jerry Jeff thought that was, <laughs> he just had an odd sense of humor, man, and strange rhythms. And he went to Austin where, where the hippie thing hadn't happened yet. It had happened in New York. It had happened, but it hadn't totally happened in Austin. It was just starting. And when he got there, he felt like he'd found paradise. And he decided that's where he lived. And then he decided that's where Jerry Jeff Walker came from and just said as much. The balls. And uh, he, he then, he started to morphing into a cowboy, you know, from the gypsy song man. He started morphing into a, like a rambling Jack Elliott, and he got with Michael Martin Murphy's band. He's the guy that sang Wildfire, you know, she ran calling. And he rented a, a room on 6th Street because he could feel something happening there. Not a studio, and he rented a board that... Uh, that you probably couldn't make a record with. He bought a board, you know, and thought, I got a board, I can make my own record. And at the time, I know this from talking to him. This, I'm sorry if I'm rambling too much, but these are true stories. This is a, this is a big part of music, in my opinion. Jerry Jeff moved to Austin, and he wanted to make a record, and he didn't want any help. He wanted to, even from scratch, he wanted to build his own studio and, and get his own idea on tape. And his manager, Michael Brovsky, had just recently stolen a lot of money from him and didn't want to get caught. And Jerry Jeff also had money because he sang Mr. Bojangles, but he was on MCA Records for a year before Michael Brovsky could find him to tell him. And when he found him, he was in Austin. And I think Michael Brovsky had already blown what would have been Jerry Jeff's bonus. And so Jerry Jeff just told me this a few months ago. He thinks the reason he got so much artistic freedom was because his manager was afraid to say no to him because if he looked too far into it, he would figure out that he'd been ripped off. And so he'd say, I just want to record in this venue. I'm going to rent a building. I'm going to rent. And the manager was just like, yeah, you got it. And none of the musicians believed when they talk in hindsight, they were like, none of us believed this was really going to be an album. We all thought that this drunk guy who was famous, uh, a folk famous, was uh, just doing, having a good time. And a lot of the musicians, when they heard the record come out and heard their parts unchanged from that night, they couldn't believe it. And even, and, 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 and there, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say there was a young guy who had also just moved to town named Willie Nelson who took notice that this guy had just told the record company what they were going to do, and they did it. And, I, I mean, that's just the truth. And Willie said, maybe I'll try that. Fuck, I wrote crazy, you know. I don't have to listen to these guys. And that's just that's just the truth. Now, I'm going to play, I'm, and I'll stop, but I got a couple more I can't help but tell you. Um, but at, the, at this period, he made that record on 6th Street. This song... God, it's hard not to tell you all this stuff, but he was hanging out with Towns Van Zandt, and they stopped by to get their guitars fixed by this guy named Guy Clark. And Guy Clark played him one of his first songs called L.A. Freeway, and, 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 and Jerry Jeff never forgot it. He just went home and recorded it on this first Texas record. <laughs> Beggar, 
all your dishes Make note of all good wishes Say goodbye to the landlord for me Sons of bitches, they always bore me Throw out those L.A. papers The moldy pots of vanilla wafers Adios to all this concrete I'm gonna hit me dirt road back street If I could just get up of that LA freeway Without getting killed or caught Down that road in a cloud of smoke For some land that I ain't bought If I could just get up of that LA freeway Without getting killed or caught To you old skinny Dennis The only one I think I will miss I can hear your beating old singing As sweet and low like the gift you're bringing Play for me one more time We hey, got to get all we can now I believe every word you're saying Keep on, sir, keep on playing If I could just get off of that L.A. freeway Without getting killed or caught We'd be down that road in a cloud of smoke For some land that I ain't bought If I could just get off of that L.A. freeway Without getting killed or caught We'd be gone, baby I love the gift that's truly in me We got something to believe in Why Don't you think it's time we're leaving Leave the key in the old front door lock They will find it likely as now With all the things that we have forgot All the things that we have forgot Getting killed or caught Down that road in a cloud of smoke For the land, for the land that I ain't bought If I could just get off of that L.A. freeway Without getting killed or caught And when that began One of the great musical friendships of, of all time between Guy Clark and Jerry Jeff Walker and Susanna Clark and Susan Walker. Those four, when uh, that was quite a uh, that was quite a group. Susan, I love you. I just love you like crazy. Uh, so that record, it did really good, and um, that song did good. And Jerry Jeff ha had not written that song and so that rang in his head that he didn't have to make up his own songs and then something really important happened to him and i'm sorry if i'm going on but fuck it turn turn it to another something but like he was playing in this place called kerrville um they have a folk festival there just an amazing folk festival and he was playing there and he described it as the whole time he was on stage, the stage kept trying to get out from under him and under this other guy. <laughs> and that guy was Hondo Crouch. And he didn't understand what Hondo was. And he met him and uh, Hondo owned a town called Lukenbach. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a singer or anything, he just owned a town. Um, and Jerry Jeff just fell in love with him and would go to this place, Lukenbach, where to this day, if you can go, and this is Hondo here. If This is the guy that changed Jerry Jeff's life. He went from the gypsy songman to a really altruistic guy who helped a lot of people and recorded a lot of people's songs. And that was 
this guy who was such a giving, and the song I started with was a song he wrote about him when he died. And I thought they were similar guys. And Hondo had this place where he could hold court, population three, if you can find it. And, and Jerry Jeff was on the heels of that first record. He was spending all his time at this place called Lukenbach. And now his manager still, I think, is in the weeds with him. And he decides that he wants to uh, record in Lukenbach, where his hero is, is bullcrastinating, as they say, and teaching Jerry Jeff to plight shit and uh, turning, teaching him to unlearn things. And uh, to this day, when people get to Lukenbach, they play grown-ups, you know? And um, I knew Jerry Jeff was so fascinated by him. He would tell me long stories about him. And so at one point, he decides he's going to record there, and he gets this band, the same band together, and he's got that one song, Hi Buckaroos, that he kind of made up on the spot. He said he had that chorus. But then he, on this record, he did um, a bunch of other people's songs. He wrote about half of it, and Guy Clark wrote a bunch of it. And there was this other guy there was this tree they had called the laughing tree where they would start the sessions and everyone would just play songs. And one morning, Bob Livingston played Jerry Jeff a song that he had learned from his friend Ray Wiley Hubbard. And Jerry Jeff loved it right away and decided they were going to do it. And here's the other thing I want to mention about this record, the Viva Terlingua, if you go get it. So he put the equipment in the bar and then didn't tell the bar to do anything. He didn't make them close the bar. And so there's people kind of milling around, and you hear them all through the record. At some points, you can tell they're just there, and they don't really know who he is. And then at night, you can tell towards the end of the week, people start figuring out what's going on. So by the end of the sessions, there was these full-blown concerts. But it started off just a recording session that you could walk into and stand right in the middle of all the open mics if you wanted to, and nobody gave a shit, which is pretty unheard of. And um, and this was that song old Ray Wiley Hubbard uh, gave to Jerry Jeff. He was born in Oklahoma. His wife's name is Betty Lou Thelma Liz Well, he's not responsible for what he's been doing His mother made him what he is What is it? And it's up against the wall A redneck mother Mother who has raised a son so well. Well, he's 34, he's drinking in a honky tonk. He's kicking hippies' asses and raising hell. You know, he sure likes to drink that Lone Star beer. He likes to chase it down with that wild turkey liquor. He's got a 57 a GMC pickup, a truck with a gun rack, and I'd rather step in shit than smoke it a bumper sticker. And it's up against the wall, redneck mother. Mother who has raised her son so well, so well, so well, so well. He's 34, a drinking in a honky tonk. What's he doing down there? He's kissing hippies' asses and raising him. M is for the mud flaps she give me for my pickup truck. O is for the oil I put in my pickup truck. T is for Dolly Parton. 
H is for haggard, E is for eggs, and R is for redneck. No, it's up against the wall, redneck mother. The mother who has raised her son so well. Well, he's 34. Drinking in them honky tonks. He's kicking hippies' asses and raising him in Muskogee, Oklahoma, USA. Well, I, I want to thank my friend Elizabeth Cook for coming down and sitting here with me. I heard someone say that's the only thing you can really do with someone if they're in a bad spot. You just try to sit with them, you know. Or I'm I'm pretty okay though. Um, so then also on that record, he did. Um, There's a guy named Gary P. Nunn, and uh, he was the lead guitar player in the band. And not only did he do that guy's song, but he said, "Why don't you sing it too?" And he, and so he let Gary P. Nunn uh, sing this song on on his record, and it changed Gary P. Nunn's life. Uh, and it was a song he had written from the tour they had just come back from, I think, where they'd been to London. And do you have that one, London Homesick Blues? Well, it's cold over, no, is it worse? Well, when you're down on your luck, you ain't got a buck. In London, you're a goner. Even London Bridge has fallen down and moved to Arizona now, I know. And I'll substantiate the rumor that the English sense of humor is higher than the Texas thing. Hey, you can put up your dukes, hey, you can bet your boots. I believe in just as fast as I can. I want to go home with the armadillo. Good country music from Amarillo and Abilene. cold over here and I swear I wish they'd turn the heat on and where in the world is that English girl that I promised I would meet on the third floor and of the whole damn lot the only friend I got is a smoke and a cheap guitar yeah, my mind keeps roaming and my heart keeps longing to be home in a Texas bar. I want to go home with the armadillo. Good country music from Amarillo and Abilene. Well, the friendliest people and the prettiest women you've ever Well, I decided that I'd get my cowboy hat. I'd go down to Marble Art Station. But when a Texan fancies, he'll take his chances, and chances will be taken, that's for sure. And them limey eyes, this eye and a prize, some people call manly footwear. They say you're from down south And when you open your mouth You always put your bloody foot there I want to go home with the armadillo Good country music from Amarillo and Abilene The friendliest people and the prettiest women you've ever seen I want to go home with 
like the armadillo A country music from Amarillo and Abilene Where the friendliest people and the prettiest women you've ever seen That just made me think of a, you know, I remember when I was young, I used to fantasize about just sitting around talking to Jerry Jeff, and then that, that, that happened. And I remember him telling me that his favorite music moment in his life, I mean, I mean, he was drunk when he said it, but was when they recorded that song, if you listen to the song that they record, at the end of it, it gets over, and the crowd that is just has just been gathering all week. They, for some reason, this song just knocked, they've never heard it before. And it knocks them out. And when the song got over, you can still hear it on the record, thanks, man. Uh, the crowd just cheers and Jerry Jeff says, somehow we were all just looking at each other on stage like, wow, they really liked that. And just, he said, through the, like through the ESP of music, he said, we all just, went back into that chorus um, like, an, like a chorus encore. And it's, it's brilliant on the record, and it was just a spontaneous thing. And then those began the years. That was that song, Redneck Mother, was, that song was everywhere. And then, then Jerry Jeff, in his book, he says, in fact, the years I bought the book for, he says, in 1973, Viva Terlingua went gold or whatever, and we did. Then he said, between 73, this is the book, the chapter's about this long, and it says, between 73 and 78, I made this many records, I did this many shows, and, and it's an astounding amount. And at the end, and he says, so sorry, you know, if whatever happened, I'm sorry. And that's it. And I hope, you know, and I know what he meant. The stories of those days, when cocaine first came into fashion, they called him Jiffy Jack Snowdrift and Mr. Blow Jangles. And some of the guys in the band said he would do these, he bought a plane, and he would do these weekend runs, and coke was all new, and they would go on the plane, and he would stay awake the whole weekend. They'd be like, they'd go to Colorado, and he would stay awake until they got home. And that is how he got a lot of his reputation in those years, just out roaring, looking for something to do. And uh, man, those years he started just making all kinds of, he made so many records. Um, and um, let's see, what's, so many of them out of, out of print. Let's see, what's, what's one I could do? Oh, one I have. Is there a song called Roll On Down the Road? I've never sung it. And I always just loved it. Uh, I'll just start it. Is, is any luck? It's on the... Uh, this is the first time I'll, I've used the... Uh, what is this thing called? What are the... Uh, what is it called? The. It's not a helicopter. It is. You love the world. You see rolling wheels and blackjack deals are all the same to me. It'll trade it away, everything I made. I hit it out the Santa Fe. I lay my money down, feel to come around. She's six eggs and I leave. I grab my money. Kiss my honey and I hit it down to New Orleans. I wanna roll on down the road, just let it roll. I wanna roll on down the road, let it roll. Well, I've never stopped to ask myself if the game's worth the goal. I guess I just a ramble, Lord. I got a gamble, Lord. I got a gypsy soul. Yeah, well, I gave thanks as the Lord the planks of the decks of the Delta Queen. 
I got in a game with a man named James And I figured I would pick him clean When the bet went down and the deal come around Worst deal I'd ever seen I always thought my A's in a hole Must have been in Tennessee On a roll on down the road A little roll On a roll on down the road Let it roll Well I never stop to ask myself If the getting is worth the goal I guess I'm just a rambler, Lord, I'm just a gambler Yes, I've got a gypsy soul Well, I always knew that my ace in the hole Must have been in music row well, They tell me, boys, you want to make a name Well, that's the only place you go Well, if you don't mind, I like my own kind I like to do things my own way Yeah, well, you gamble and you lose Sing a few chords of blues Well, it's all the same I wanna roll on down the road, wanna let it roll. Wanna roll on down the road, let it roll. Well, I never stopped to ask myself if the getting is worth the go. I guess I just around the Lord, or just a gambler. I guess I got a gypsy soul. That just made me think of another, uh, this song makes, uh, singers. People laugh and talk away their evening while I play I ask myself, why do I do it? Hell, there must be something to it Getting paid for doing something you'd be doing anyway Play it that honky-tonk music well, That's the kind I like to play I just play in that honky-tonk music well, That's the kind I like I wish that I could have me a dollar For every drunk I'm heard holler For every ballroom brawler I'd seen Just sleeping off his life All the stories that I've been told I guess I'd have me a pot of gold Even if half the stories told It turned out to be right I've been playing that honky tonk music. Well, that's the kind I like to play. Playing that honky tonk music. Well, that's the kind I like to. Even sometimes I even try to When the night is getting late And the ladies, they look so good I've seen boys that I did not care for I asked myself, what was I there for? But all in all, I wouldn't change things Even if I could That's the kind I like to play. 
So now at this point in the movie, our hero is what they used to call roaring, careening out of control, uh, going too far. And he goes to a party in Austin for a writer. And um, he's just finished a record called uh, uh, Walker's Collectibles. And he, uh, he has a, 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 a version of it, and he wants to hear it. So he goes to someone else's party and puts it on the record player, which is very, very Jerry Jeff. And um, they used to, so he never wanted to go to the party he was invited to. He wanted to go to that party they were trying to keep him out of. And he put his record on, and the woman who was hosting the party heard that her record had changed. She said she had the stones on. And uh, so she changed it back, and it changed again. And she finally came over and figured out who was doing this, and it was Jerry Jeff Walker. And that's when he met Susan, um, who really saved him, you know, uh, in a lot of ways. They, they roared too, you know. They roared, but... In fact, this song he made up after um, the Derby Day when he says, foolish pleasure lost. <laughs> Suzanne, you are a Jew About the rarest I've ever seen I wish I could polish off All the edges of my craziest dream But you know the way I am There's nothing that you can do If there's anything you don't want me to do Well then just go ahead and tell me to it must have been one hill of a starry night Yeah, the moon was so bright It must have knocked out all of your lights I guess that's the night that you fell for a silvery line Yeah, well, everything we do is backwards you know that ain't a lie You love, I love, you love, I You know, you know I love your beautiful life I can't pay you back, no I can't make it up with a song Well, I guess I'm here just trying to tell you That I miss myself when you're gone It must have been one hell of a starry night The moon was so bright I guess it must have knocked out all of your light I guess that's the night that you fell for my silvery line Well, you always pick the winner In every derby race well, I guess you just picked on me for a little bit of change of pace. So go on, shake your head, let it loose. Run till you pass the wind. I've been running right in front of you, trying to rein myself in. Hell, it must have been one hill of a starry night. Yeah, the moon was so bright I guess it must have knocked out all of your light Well, I guess that's the night that you felt that silvery light Oh, Suzanne, you are a Jew About the rarest I've ever seen well, I wish I could polish off all the edges of my crazy dream. And, uh, yep, he wrote that, and uh, 
while this was all going on, let's pull up a song called Railroad Lady. Um, when Jerry Jeff Walker decided that uh, Austin, Texas, was where Jerry Jeff Walker was from, he, he left behind this thing he was doing in Key West. You can look this shit up, man. He was, if, if you go down to Key West, a little bit after midnight, everyone starts telling you that they know Jimmy Buffett. You know, but a little bit after 3 a.m., they'll start to tell you that they know Jerry Jeff Walker, and they'll tell you that he he had gone down there, and his best friend at the time was this Jimmy Buffett who had made a few records, and and then got dropped, much like uh, or just he he just was burned out on it, and so Jerry Jeff told him you got to go down to Key West. He gave him an address of a girl. Uh, where he could stay, and uh, that's where Jimmy met Key Sykes and Fingers Taylor, all these people that Jerry Jeff was sending down there. And of course, Jimmy, who is who is a sailor already, uh, who can tack sail, you know, uh, he found his home, you know. But his buddy uh, Jerry Jeff, in fact, I think Jerry Jeff drove him there in an old Packard, if I'm not mistaken. And then Jimmy Buffett. You know, I don't even. I, I hope you. I hope he's okay today. And and Melanie and Mara and uh, Lulu and all of you. I'm thinking of you and uh, I hope you're thinking of me too. I know. But uh, those two were uh, those two were really close, you know. And uh, when they found out that the, I think it was the city of New Orleans was going to do its last run together, they decided to do it. And they got had a big time, and they made up this song on that trip. She's a railroad lady, just a little bit shady. Spent her whole life on a train. Semi good looker to the fast trails that took her. That's trying, just trying to get home again. South Station in Boston to the free yards of Boston. Florida sunshine to the New Orleans rain. Now that the railbacks have taken all the best tracks, she's trying, just trying to get home again. She's a railroad lady, just a little bit shady, to spend her whole life on a train. A semi good looker. The fast trails that took her That's trying, just trying To get home again Once a highball and loner He thought he could own her He bought her a red fur coat And a big diamond ring She hopped down for cold cash Left town on the wall bash Never thinking, never thinking Of home way back then now the rails are all rusty and the dining car's dusty And them gold-bladed watches have taken their toll Yeah, the railroads are lying and a lady, she's crying On the bus to Kentucky now and her home, that's her goal She's a railroad lady, just a little bit shady They spend her whole life on a train Some high good looker till the past trails that took her And that's trying, just trying to get home again Trying, just trying to get home again Did you ever find out who wrote that pretty song? Was the road to Mexico diamonds of stone? Did you need that lucky piece that I slipped in your hand? 
Were you ready when the cold wind called you at the Rio Grande? We were kind of crazy then, leading lovers more than friends. Songs on my guitar, they're like flowers for your scar. May you find a friendly night May you find a treat you right May you find that same moon Shining my love on you tonight Always keep your words shining Keep them like a bullet bright While this whole world wears its heart like a big bullseye Don't you ever let them Treat you the right From the wrong Did you ever find out Who wrote that pretty song We were kind of crazy then We need lovers more than friends Songs on my guitar Little like flowers for your scar May you find a friend at night May you find it treat you right May you find that same moon Shining down on me tonight May you find that same moon Shining my love on you tonight. That song was, there's a funny and famous story about how a lot, when songwriters get together, a lot of times what they talk about is songs pretty, pretty incessantly. And if you're not into that conversation, there's no change in the subject. And so uh, one night, Susanna Clark says, what's so fucking great about writing songs? And, um, I think Jerry Jeff said, well, if you think it's no big deal, you go do it. And she did right there. And then she wrote Quarter Moon in a Ten Cent Town. And um, and Jerry Jeff recorded her songs and Guy's songs and everybody else's songs. I'll tell you, he recorded one of my songs. Um, and um, then, um, you know, I've told you so many stories about him, but... I probably won't tell any of those today. I just wanted to, I just wanted to get out of the house and um, sing these songs. I'm just gonna sing a few more. It's just, um, and it, I appreciate you tuning in today. Well, it won't be but a week up to you. You'll be out loving someone new. It must have happened a hundred times. Before. I can see you've been spreading yourself thin too And it's the lonely stage we've been going through Well don't get up and find my own way to the door Well I can see you over an angel your heart and polish your old head low the only kind of man that you ever wanted was the one that you knew you'd never hold her long you're sitting there crying like I'm the first one to go you may have had third lover behind you well I can feel you but I sure can't find you Seems to me you would have found your own self by now. The late at night, them lovers' tears come back. You got faces in your dream, fingers in your back, the voices of memory, and I'm crying out loud. I can see. Oh, 
50 some odd years I once you had a pair of handmaids boy you never wear a store ball pair they said Charlie can tell what's wrong with your feet just by feeling them with his hand but he could take a look at the boots you wear and know a whole lot about the man but Charlie done the boots that are on the feet Charlie done the boots that are on the feet Make Charlie real pleased to see me walking with E. Charlie Dunn, for oh, he's the one to see. But old Buck's up front, counting up to go. Charlie's in the back, patching up his soul. All the people coming in, they're smiling at him. They all want to know how Charlie been. But old Buck make a change, you never ever see no one. He never understood the good things Charlie done But he never understood the good things Charlie done Well, Charlie never ever put his name on the sign He don't put no mark in his boots He just hopes that you can remember him About the same way that he does you He put your measurements in a little book So you can order more boots later on well, I'm writing down some old Charlie's eyes I'm picking him up a song Charlie Dunn He's the one to see Charlie Dunn The boots that are on the feet Well, it makes Charlie real pleased To see me walking with E Charlie Dunn He's the one to see So then he just kept on, kept on, kept on, never slowed down, never stopped singing. My favorite version of any song ever was when I was opening for him in Canada, and uh, he played. I didn't see him before his show, so I didn't see him till he came off from his show, and he came into the dressing room, and the crowd was cheering uh, for the encore. 
And uh, he was like, hey, uh, he'd call me son all the time. Uh, How are you doing? And I said, fine. And I asked him, I said, what do, he said, what do you do all day? And I was like, oh, I fucking bounced around the town. I said, what did you do? And he goes, oh, man, you know that song, Moon River? I was like, yeah. He goes, man, you ever catch that he calls the river his huckleberry friend? God, who wouldn't want a huckleberry friend? And they're cheering. And he's like, man, there's like a lot of chords, a ton of chords. And there was a guitar, I think it was mine. Let me have that guitar. And as they're cheering for the encore, he sang Moon River. <laughs> I, I can't, if I, it was the prettiest thing. I, I, I was, um, man, it was crazy. And when I came into his life, that would have been '85, and he had just put out his first record, where him and Susan were gonna put out the records themselves. And they put out a record called Gypsy Song Man, and that was the first one I got. And then later, is there? Can you find one called? Um, it's called. Pass it on. There was, I remember when I first met him, Susan asked me which my, which song pulled me in. She said, what, why are you so, you know what? Because I'm obsessive anyway, you know, but I know more about Jerry Jeff and John Prine and Billy Joe Shaver and Chris Christopherson and Guy Clark and those people that, that it's probably reasonable, you know? Like some people that do Star Wars and stuff. Um... But uh, so he put out his own record, and uh, my friend Trog had been playing him around our apartment. I was working as a busboy, and I had made up a song about bus and tables. And there was this one guy I was that I liked. He reminded me of Neil Young, and Jerry Jeff was his name. And Trog says he's playing at this place called Green Hall, and so we went down there. And I remember he came in, he had these calico boots on, and he walked in the front door. He was late. And people around were talking about how he was maybe not going to come. And uh, I just thought, I felt such a connection to the guy. And he came in there, he had a guitar, and he walked on stage and he just said, Hi, buckaroos. And about the middle of that show, I'm, I made a, a cho I decided I was going to do that. I just... I just thought I could do this, and that I was also suited for it. And if you ask my brother or my sister, they'll say, yeah, it was just like, I was just sitting there <laughs> to, to happen, you know? Um, because I was already a hitchhiker and a sofa circuit person, and I hadn't, Jerry Jeff had a spin on that that made you see the brighter side of it. And once I saw the brighter side of that way of life, I never let go of it. Even to this day, no watch, no wallet, no phone. I never ask anybody what I'm making. I don't know how anything about any of the money. I'm just trying to, um, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> um, but this I remember, he sang this that first night and it just pulled me in. And then I got the record, Gypsy Song Man. And that was probably the first. This song got me. Snow is on the cottonwood, winter's in the air. The roads are rise, but the fire's nice, so won't you kick you up a chair? Been down one too many roads to ever realize. Had a friend in Jesus, friend now the devil is in your eyes. Cause you don't owe me nothing but to be kind to yourself. If you find your fortune, pass it on somebody else. The railroad ties borrow lives, yeah, they're simple to the core. They cut the eyes and they shine the light that I've been looking for. If they dance upon my grave when I'm dead and gone, well, I'll be damn hurdy gurdy man. Won't you play me one more song? 
So you don't know me nothing but to be kind to yourself If you find your fortune, pass it on to somebody else Who'd pass it on? Oh, you act lucky one time to go to pass it on My own friend, you're gonna pass it on Snow is on the cottonwood The winter's in the air Rose your eyes at the fire And eyes will pick me up a chair I've been down one too many roads Ever realized Had a friend in Jesus Friend, now the devil is in your eyes you don't know me nothing but to be kind to yourself If you find your fortune, pass it on to somebody else Oh, pass it on You got lucky one time, dear friend, you gotta pass it on Ooh, If you find your fortune, pass it on Jerry Jeff the more I realized he was doing that he was singing all those people that we look up to Jerry Jeff is one of the people that sang their songs uh, first I'm gonna let's see and then um, it seemed like years you know I met him at a, a thing called the Labor Fest I had met him once before, and I didn't think he'd remember it, but I met him, and I hugged him, and I told him he was my king, and uh, we had a trivia contest about him that night, and I killed him. They would name a song, and I would, then the contest was, name a song and see who knows what album it's on faster. And I, uh, I did, I did, I did bit better, you know, and we just became really close. Uh, we became really close, and he would take me on trips with him. And he took me to Belize a couple of times. There's this, uh, Keith Sykes called him the, the dad of our thing. When one time down in Belize, him and I got in a really, really big argument, and uh, I thought, oh man, that's it, I'm never gonna talk to my hero again. And I told Keith Sykes, and he said, no, that's not how this thing works. <laughs> And uh, and I thought, okay. And the next time I played Austin, I could hear him heckling from the back. And I thought, well, he's here, you know. And then we saw each other, and we acted like that had never happened, you know. Um, and I love that man, Susan too. I'm gonna do this song called "Leaving Texas." We'll try that. And I'll just do a couple more, and we'll. Starting with Jeff, and then Neil, and then Cowboy, and then John, and then Jerry Jeff. Oh, man. Um. Here with Texas, I'm just a little lost, beaten down, like that morning star to hit of me. Now, if I can make it to the borders of that Rio Grande, I can make me one last sunset across the prairie. In Texas, this morning, the sound they just sang to me. Feel alive again with every new step is setting me free. If I could keep my smile in touch with them good times that we spend in them hills, they will always be part of me as I'm living my Texas Texas, I'm just a little lost and I'm beaten down. 
just like that morning star that's ahead of me fading now if I didn't make it to the borders of little Rio Grande I could catch me one last sunset across the prairie I see everything seem to be moving on so I'm moving on oh I can't I can't deny that old loneliness that comes some time but all of them miles and all them footsteps going down ain't how you keep account stretch we just kept on for keeping on oh Texas I'm just a little lost and I'm beating down like that morning star ahead of me I'm fading now if I could just do one less daughters of that Rio Grande Catch me one last sunset across the prairie. Here in Texas, I'm just a little lost, a beaten up by that morning star that's ahead of me, a peeping up. If I could make it to Catch me one last sunset across the prairie. I send this song out to my brother Jack Ingram, who was on the phone all, all morning. Uh, Jerry Jeff really took in both of the two of us, man. Took us on a bunch of trips. Uh, Jack, man, I uh, love you, my friend. I know he's sad today. Um, I'm just going to do a couple more. I feel like I, I know so many, and I could just do so many. I've always been a drifter He sees the one He ought to be in the circus He's having too much fun Been a one-man band Been a one-man gypsy circus just finding every piece in this here puzzle has a purpose. I've always been a dreamer, oh, my style. I've always been a dreamer, the full moon that drove me wild. I was contrary to ordinary, even as a child. Fast freights made me wonder when full moon drove me wild. The stories they do come true. You live life in episodes. With one eye on your lady and one eye still on that open road. Been a one-man band 
been a one man gypsy circus. You know, my first gig was at Lucky Pierre's, they built me as the happy guitar. When I die, I swear don't put no stone on my grave. I'm sorry I ought to be the epitaph. A couple spelling mistakes. Don't bring no preacher down. Try to tighten up my past. You tell me I love to live. I like to. Last phrase made me wonder The four months drove me wild And stories, they do come true You live life in episodes With one eye on your lady friend And one eye still on that open D. 
day before he died I went to see him I was drawn and he was almost gone We closed our eyes and we dreamed us up a kitchen We sang another verse to that old song Yeah, Jack train still coming <laughs> you and me Jack like desperados waiting for a train like desperados waiting for a train like desperados waiting for a train like I got to know uh, Jerry Jeff. I, he took me to Belize with him when I noticed that very early in the morning he gets up and he plays his guitar. And in the last couple of years of his life he couldn't sing. I know that bothered him. My old man get around the soul Here an old freight train and he had to roll. He said he'd been blessed with a gypsy bone, and that's the reason he figured he'd been cursed to roam. He came to town back before the war, didn't really know what it was that he was looking for. He carried a tattered bag for his violin It was full of lots of songs from the places it had been He talked real easy, he had a smile and we He could pass along to you when his fiddle played Just making people drop their cares and woe Hum out loud the tunes that that is fiddle bow. The people there began to join that sound. And everyone in town was laughing and singing and dancing around. Like the fiddler's tunes were all we heard that night. Like some dream that said, all the world is right. Fiddle as I, I got a lady there She had that rolling, flowing, dangling kind of hair He played for her as if she danced alone He played his favorite songs, the ones he called his own She alone was dancing in the room thing left moving to the fiddle tune He played until she was the last to go He stopped, he packed his case and he, he said he'd take her home And all the nights that passed, a child was born And all the years that passed, the love would keep them warm And all their lives they shared a dream come true 
All because she danced so well to fiddle tune The train neck morning blew a lonesome sound As if she'd sang the blues of what she took from town And all that I recall, she said when I was young That no one else could really sing those songs he'd sung So I'm going to play the piano and uh, just thanks for tuning in on a Saturday and helping helping a brother out, you know. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you. Wade. Uh, we're still going to do the show tomorrow. And um, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today or, or uh, I know that I've sort of needed it. So I appreciate everybody and... Uh, this well, I'm singing about the drifting way of life it's different from the many that I've known and every day I'm bound to walk a strange new road by myself I live it right or wrong I've hitchhiked about a hundred thousand miles had good love and I've lived in different style but all those folks no matter what place or race they tried to put me like a free bird in their cage so I keep singing about the drifting way of life it's different from the many that I've known Walk a strange new road Uh-huh, and I'm by myself I just keep living it right or wrong I've made some friends But some friends I'd hate to lose I say we're friends because We give the right to choose But all those folk uh, That are there themselves are played they try to change your big hat or your shape of your face So I keep singing about the drifting way of life Well, it's different from the many that I've known And every day I'm bound to walk a strange new road I By myself, I'm just living it right or wrong by myself I keep living it right or I love you and I'm thinking of you and um, of course you know if you need anything if I don't have it I'll get it um, and Jerry Jeff wherever you went to I hope you and John are having a lot of fun I hope guys are with you and um, uh, we're all right behind you man <laughs> uh,
tell you, my my best memory, I think, of, of playing music was when um, I got invited to play Jerry Jeff's birthday party. I don't think he was yet as old as I am now. And um, I told that devil's backbone story that I tell. Um, it was, I don't know if you heard that on my first record, but that night we really got close and um, Ramblin' Jack Elliott was there and uh, I knew who he was for sure. I think of him as Jerry Jeff and John's dad. And, um, and uh, I remember we stayed up all night drinking beer and playing guitars and when the sun started to come up over 6th Street, we got out and we walked down the street and I remember thinking um, just uh, how much it meant to me to, to be walking down the street with those two guys that day. Ah, fuck. I won't forget that one, man. Uh, Sometimes I just wake up humming Feeling like this world is right I want to jump right up and walk outside And take in the morning light Feel the music running through me Makes me want to dance Clap my hand and dance Sometimes it just takes my lady Smiling make my day complete When she's touching me I'm feeling free and I'm easy to be me And I'm lucky to be alive Feeling alright Take a walk outside Feeling alright People they tell me I'm living too fast Slow down now, Jerry Take it easy, let some of it pass But I don't know no other way I've got to live it day to day And if I die before my time When I leave, I'm leaving nothing behind Tasting every single grape on the vine Cause I've got a feeling It's something that I can't explain It's like I'm running naked in that high hill country Best I can. All I need is my will to live. It made me laugh. Wanna sing and dance. Wanna clap my head. Clap my hand. Country
dream Boy, man, that makes me want to send my love out to Cosmic Bob and uh, Steady Freddy and the rest of the Lost Gonzo band and um, Each night with my face in a white light, laying my life on the line, right in the road here tonight. My thoughts were of Suzanne and I, how her love sustained me. When the road almost claimed me And laid my whole life on the line Well, I know there's people They just sing What they do That is a whole different thing It's more than a business When you stand as a witness And lay whole life on the line. Sometimes, but the magic in singing comes through when you're bringing your whole life laid out in a line. It's more than a business when you stand as a witness and lay your whole life on. tell you like they say um, you know just outside of singing and songwriting and all that if you ask his friends Jerry Jeff he, he was a he wasn't just a singer he was a way of life and um, well if there's a single young person watching me I hope that you'll get his records and read his liner notes and and listen to what he's uh, trying to lay down, man. It's more than a business when you stand as a witness and lay your whole life on the line. Y'all, thanks for helping me today, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, you know, ain't nothing to this silly old business, buckaroos. Just wake up humming Feeling like this world is right Won't jump right up and take a walk outside Take in the morning light Feel the music running through me Makes me want to dance Clap my hands and dance 
Sometimes it just takes a lady to smile and make my day complete. When she's touching me, I'm feeling free and I'm easy to be me. I'm lucky to be alive, feeling alright. Take a walk outside, feeling alright. Tell me I'm living too fast. They say, hey, slow down, buddy. Let some of this pass. But I don't know no other way. I got to live it day to day. And if I die before my time, when I leave, I'm leaving nothing behind. Because I got a feeling it's something that I can't explain it's like running naked in that high hill country rain I, I got a feeling it's something that I can't explain it's like running naked in that high hill country rain Tomorrow I get by the best that I can All I need is my will to live Lord, it made me laugh Won't sing and dance Won't clap my hand Clap my hand, yeah I appreciate y'all letting me do this. I really do. Uh, wait. Uh, well, I, sh I shouldn't have said that. Actually, I sh you know what I should have said? I take, take, I take all that back that I just said. Forget I said that. Y'all just kind of chit chat for a second. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fucking shut up. I'm fucking tune in. 